It's Monday, February 11th. I'm John Manchester, and this is Evening Update. A much shorter bypass opened Monday around the rock slide blocking Highway 97 in Summerland. The 900-meter detour uses Callan Road and has a speed limit of 30 kilometers an hour. Extra barriers have been placed above the route to protect motorists. There's still no word on when the highway could reopen, however. Until Monday, drivers have been forced to use forest service roads or detour via Highway 5A all the way to Princeton. At first glance, a classified ad looking for puppies and kittens might not seem all that unusual until you see the buyer is willing to pay by the pound. The stomach-turning ad since removed has been blocked by Castanet and the account blocked following a bizarre listing looking for what the poster called an ethical source of meat for our family. You might find it hard to believe, but it's not against the law to kill and eat your own pets in Canada. It's only illegal to cause unnecessary suffering or slaughter them in a way that is deemed inhumane or results in distress. Comments on social media were quick to denounce the ad. A candlelight vigil will be held to remember a young Kelowna man killed in a tragic crash on Friday. 18-year-old Derek Flowers Johnson was killed when a semi and his Toyota Corolla collided on Highway 97 just south of UBC Okanagan. The vigil will be held Tuesday, 6 to 7 p.m. at the Lake Country Alliance Church. Yet another trial date for Curtis Sagmon. Sagmon will face charges of assault and assault causing bodily harm at a trial set to begin December 9th. He'll also stand trial September 9th for unrelated charges of disguising his face with intent to commit an offense, reckless use of a firearm, uttering threats, and more. Earlier this month, Sagmon pleaded guilty in a Port Coquitlam court to assault on a sex trade worker and received a 30-day sentence plus two years probation. The 2019 Vernon Winter Carnival is barely in the books, and officials are already planning for next year. You know what, we were so happy with how everything went. Um, people loved the theme this year. The Pirates was a big hit and uh, really seemed to get the community involved, which is uh, kind of the main point, is to get people out and, and supporting the community. A serial thief who has racked up 119 convictions will serve two more days in jail, but will remain in custody on other charges after being sentenced for two thefts last summer in Penticton. Ian James McDonald was sentenced to time served Monday for two counts of theft under $5,000 and one count of breaching probation. He still faces charges of possession of stolen property, possession of a controlled substance, and resisting peace officers, stemming from incidents in Penticton in August of last year. Members of BC's Hospital Employees Union have ratified a three-year contract agreement voting 89% in favor of a deal that gives them health, safety and compensation improvements along with job security. Union spokesperson Jennifer Whiteside says the agreement restores contracting out protections that were taken away in 2002 along with wage increases of 6%. The BC coast is in for another winter wallop after a weekend storm dumped snow and cut power to thousands. On Monday, schools across the region were closed as some areas received up to 40 centimetres of snow. And Environment Canada warned another 25 centimetres are on the way by Tuesday morning. Deteriorating conditions also forced the cancellation of all evening sailings between the mainland and Vancouver Island by BC ferries. Back to Okanagan weather, another chilly one tonight getting down to minus 14. Tomorrow, a high of minus 7 and possible flurries will warm up gradually as we get to the weekend. Coming up, Kelowna's economic impact, and a teenager says he was roughed up by a security guard even though he did nothing wrong. For Castanet News, I'm John Manchester.